Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Hydraneer. Let's pick up right where we left off. So yeah, we made it back. We've got the money here and apparently they they don't they don't get along very well. Let's uh let's combine them a little bit. And ding. We have a total of 248 monies that I I, I keep dropping on the ground. <laughs> But anyway, um, so we've, as a recap, got our hole down here. We've got a pretty good setup for uh, getting high value ore out. And we can make it into bars, which is great. But I feel like we could improve this a little bit, you know? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, first things first, let's... Uh, Let's fill you up and get some iron going. I feel like there's some cool stuff we can do there. And we also need to find a way to process these guys. Because I feel like there's a lot that we can do there. Let's see. Let's grab that money and head over to the store over here. I think they have some pipes. And I think pipes are reasonably inexpensive. So... Let's see what what do we need? We need an intake for sure. That would be nice, but that cost that that cost a lot of monies. Uh, let's see. We need a valve. How much are we up to now? Uh, Fifty eight. That's not too bad. Uh, we probably need like at least one of those, and probably a bunch of these water pipes. What what are we up to now? One hundred two, and we've got two forty eight. Definitely doable. And there we go. That should be good enough for now. But, you know, I think we're just going to walk this back and forth. Because it's not that far. You know? And I think... Let's see. Let's rotate you. Where's your button? There you go. You got water? You got water. Cool. Okay, next step, definitely the off valve, because if that stayed dripping all the time, that would get old and fast. Uh, let's see, where's my off valve? There we go. I think, and we can test this, but I think, oh, come on, rotate, please. There we go. Still makes a noise even though it's closed. Weird. But I think we can automatically fill one of these up. See if we can get that under there. Yep, we can definitely automatically fill those up with the drippy water here. So we just need to get that drippy water over like the deep spot. And we're gonna call it a night real quick. There we go. Get some more bright sunshine in our lives. And we're going to drag that water out over the middle there. And I think we're going to go ahead and dig straight down. Boom. And that's still not over yet. We got like three or four or more before we can get over it. And I think I discovered something interesting with the way that... Uh, the way that dirt works, I think we can get infinite dirts. Okay, come on. Here we go. Cool. Uh, that's still not quite there. We need like four more. How many do we have? We have two more. We'll have to turn around and buy a few more. But we may be able to move our whole operation underground. And I think... As soon as we get this workflow going, we're going to upgrade to a new place. Because I feel like, you know, this is the starter area. It's not going to have the best stuff, and it's not going to have the most stuff. That's still not quite over. So, yeah, we need two or three more. And I think we can afford that. The Boom. Boom. 
and just for good measure, there. Buy it. Buy it. Oh, we're one short. So, it better only take three, because that's all we can handle. I would have liked to have, like, a spare extra so we can go just a little bit deeper. But, honestly, if we can work from underground at all, that's going to make our job so much easier. And I would like to get into some automation, but until we start making a good bit more off of the ores that we're picking up, I'm not really going to be able to afford it. So we're going to have to go big and go very, very big. Because automation is probably the key to uh, getting the most out of this game. And that that looks okay. You know what? We're going to grab that uh, angle just for a little bit more distance because we already bought it. Come on. Let's grab you. Let's see, how do you... Oh, you're already facing the wrong direction. Got to figure out how to swap you around. There we go. That is not what it looked like it was going to do. There we go. So from there, we need our pickaxe. Go ahead and turn you on. No, no. Ah, oh, dang it. We can see where that's going to go. Um... Well, we made it most of the way. Can we sneak in there? Yes, we can. Okay, and I think our other stuff was off this way. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to lose a little bit of pay dirt, but that is the cost of getting water down here to us. I figure we have a, we have a shovel down there. Yeah, we got to shovel down there. We just need a bucket and some other stuff. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, there we go. And drop you down the hole. Because making individual trips is probably less efficient. And then we can just carry you down. We got to walk down anyway. We're going to leave you there. Drop you... That looks like that's probably going to work. Boom. Boom. And full. And of course, I missed. There we go. Now where did our brush go? <laughs> it just decided to stick in the wall. Uh Oh, it looks like we got some iron. Okay, so for the nifty little thing about the uh, infinite ores, I'll have to show you that. So if I pick up the shovel and I pick up some dirt and I place it, it's a big circle, right? So I pick up some more and place it again. Same size circle. Boom. We have just made more pay dirt at like really low level. And it's the good stuff, too. So, yeah, we we have infinite good pay dirt. And, like, you know what? Hey, even that little bitty bit, whole new pile of dirt. And it just, it builds, and it builds, and it builds. Cool. Oh, yeah, we got to... <laughs> That's one way to hold the bucket. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it just it just it stays there if I drop it into the ground. But yeah. Uh let's uh let's do this for a little bit and once I got a little bit of dirt or a little bit of money monies, uh, we're gonna take a look at a new location and potentially some automation.
Okay, so our wash bucket is getting kind of full and that water noise is starting to get to me. So I think it's about time to go ahead and pour out that iron bar that we picked up and start dropping some of this stuff in and turn this off before I lose my sanity. <laughs> okay, so I think what we're gonna try to do is, well, we're, we're just gonna put them all together for now. Uh, I know we really need to be separating these out because we'll get um, we'll be able to build weapons with the iron stuff and we'll be able to get more gold from the gold stuff if we bar it up or at the very least it's easier to uh, move around and all that and we can make jewelry with the gold but at this level we just need some money to get automation going I think we just need some money to get automation going. So we're going to go ahead and put it all into bars and see what we get. And yes, I think I maybe threw a couple of gems in there. Yeah, I did. Okay, it's not it's not a big deal. Okay, so we got our iron bar, which in hindsight, might as well uh, go ahead and put that in there with it. So. Come on, you stupid iron bar, get in there. There we go. It tips right in, and that should add, and I, I think I've seen it tested that that does actually add to the overall value. We're going to give this a second to cook, and we'll see about going and selling it. There's our gold bar. We've got 582 monies. So that's really not that much. I was kind of hoping it would be a bit more. But it may be enough to start the whole mining process. So let's go inside and see what things cost. Put that in there for safekeeping. Uh, we need... Ooh, a shredder. Dirt chunks into small pieces. Higher water pressure, improved speed. That's not bad. Uh, conveyor belts are... Well, they're a little expensive. 263. Ooh. 385 for a ram drill, uh, 960 for a goliath drill, and 583 for a harvester. So we definitely do not have enough for any of that at the moment. I wonder, I wonder if it's worth it. Hmm. I don't think we've got enough money for anything spectacular. But we can get a magnet on a stick. Um, I think maybe our best bets right now is going and getting some better lighting. I think better lighting will go a very long way to having a happier, healthier base. I think... Nope, not here. And I went ahead and put it in the back of the truck. I should have carried it with me. Uh, let's see. What do you have over here? We have lanterns. We have light posts. Let's grab a couple of those for our tiny base. I think four ought to be good enough. One downstairs with me and a couple of spares. Uh, let's see. What else do you have? You have paint. Don't really need paint or a table. We've already got a bed. Ooh, fishing pole. I think we could use one of these. And it doesn't cost too, too much. Uh, we could use a tool rack so our tools aren't just lying on the ground. Uh, construction hammer so things don't move around. And I think we had a few things at the other store that we did still need to get. Like some of the blacksmithing supplies. We can do that at the one close to home. Go ahead and get all of these guys loaded up. And we're going to have to try out our fishing rod as soon as we get back. So we've got that stream nearby. I wonder what those boxes were next to the fishing stuff. I wonder if they're fish traps. Oh, they are. We're getting one of those. No, we're not. We can't afford one. Boy, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we're basically out of money. 
Oh wait, no, I put the money back in the thing. Do we have 41 monies? We have enough for a few of those. Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish loading before we before we do that. So that weird jump maneuver is the best way I've found to getting things to go into the back. There's no physics back there, so it's always a bit iffy. But yeah, let's grab a fishing pot or two. Did they stack? Oh, no, they didn't stack. They just look like they stacked. Put the money back in the thing, and let's go set up our fishing enterprise. Not what I planned on doing today, but hey, fishing. That looks like that lined up just perfect. Not quite, but it's close. Okay, let's go set up our cool new tools. And I think... Yeah, we're probably going to have a little bit of time between episodes where I grind up some money monies so that we can do some cool stuff. I think part of the problem with uh, today's mining excursion was too much iron, not enough anything else. So, oh. Okay, yep. I need to get the blacksmith hammer and an anvil. Wait, no, we've got an anvil. Do we have a blacksmith hammer? We do, okay. I was remembering wrong. But let's see about placing you... somewhere close. That is not the way I wanted to do it, but okay. How many can you hold? You can hold four. You can hold our old shovel. Wait, no. We don't need our old shovel. What we do need is our... Uh, where are you? Fishing rod. Hold the fishing rod. Okay. Apparently you can't hold a fishing rod. That's okay. But we picked up a hammer. Yeah, I had to let the physics readjust so I could actually reach into the back. Go ahead and nail down all of these bits. Okay, so if you didn't know, this construction hammer makes it where I can't just accidentally pick these bits up. See, they don't highlight. I can only turn them on or off. Which is so nice. Uh, let's grab you and take you downstairs. You've been good, Lamp, but you're not the best. Oh, we can actually see down there now. I'm not sure where we're going to put the others. Uh, definitely going to put one over here near the entrance. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. Wrong button. There we go. We have a light there. Put a light by the fire. And I don't know where the last one's going to go. We'll just stick it over here by the other side of the bridge. And they'll give us some good light when nighttime comes. And let's go set our fishing pots. Set one there. I think we should set the other one probably right beside it. Boom. Got him. And now we just wait. While we wait, uh, that's our old shovel. Goodbye, shovel. We just just live in, live in the river now. See, how does this work? Oh, it's going in the air. I don't think that's how that works. Huh. I mean, if that catches a fish, I will be very, very surprised. Yeah, I, I said... I sat there for a second and it doesn't look like it's going to do anything. I got it to make a noise I haven't heard before. But I don't think that's... I don't think that's a good thing. Does it work in any? Oh, it's just... It's just gone now. Oh, there you are.
Ah, okay. Yep, I give up on fishing. We'll see if the fishing pots do anything. They don't seem to have anything in them just yet. But we've had a very eventful day, and uh, between episodes, I think I'm going to continue to fill this up, and we need to get uh, something to do these uh, gems. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's where we're going to have to call it for today. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com, and I will see you guys in the next one.